Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create fun repeating polka dot style patterns using Photoshop Actions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use my Photoshop Actions. These actions are for sale in my Etsy shop and I will leave a link in the description below. After you have purchased these actions, you will navigate to your folder and we are going to import our actions into Photoshop. The file you are looking for is one with a .atn. This represents the actions for Photoshop. So let's go ahead and open a new document in Photoshop. Go ahead and click on new file. These actions are designed to work with the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. For this tutorial, I'm going to set my resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color. Background content set to transparent and then click on create. To load your actions, you'll need to open your actions panel. To do that, go to window and select actions. Here I have my actions panel currently open. It is loaded with some actions that I use for pattern design. I'm going to go ahead and turn off button mode here and then we are going to load our next set of actions. So I'm going to click on this icon here, click to select load actions, go ahead and navigate to your file and, and select the .atn file and click on open and you will see the set load here. So we have our dot patterns uh, with one object here. I'm going to go ahead and open this folder here and you will see all of the actions here. Let's go ahead and test our first action, which is our dot style pattern. Looking at these actions here for this dot style, you'll see the word dot and then you'll see one T, which stands for one tone and then uniform, which means it will be a uniform style pattern. Looking down, we see vertical, horizontal, scale, rotation. Each of these styles make a change to the pattern based on the naming there. So let's go ahead and test our first pattern to show you how these work. So I'm going to get my ellipse shape tool here. I'm going to push D on the keyboard just to get my default colors here. And then just clicking on the canvas, I'm going to create a circle that is the size of 400 pixels by 400 pixels here. And then just clicking on create here. So we have our circle here. I'm going to click on this first action and then to uh, play, I'm just going to click the play button and then automatically it's going to create a repeating polka dot style pattern for me here. And what you'll notice here in the layers panel, if you don't have your layers panel open, you could always go to windows and select layers here. We have our original shape here, and then we have a group. If you open that group, you'll see the five repeating um, circles here that creates our polka dot pattern. And then we have our original, which is not visible at the moment. And then if we bring up our patterns panel, again, you can find that under windows selecting patterns here. I can see my newly created pattern that has already been defined for me. So let's go ahead and test out this pattern. I'm going to open up a new document for this. So we're going to go file new. Uh, this time I'm going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, which is 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, leaving um, everything the same here. I'm going to go ahead and click on create. And we are going to test this pattern. Uh, to do this, let's go ahead and create a pattern adjustment layer here. And then we will select our newly created pattern and we have our fun polka dot style pattern. Let's go ahead and add some color. So let's do a solid color adjustment layer. We're going to go FFF for the color white. And then I'm just going to drag this to the bottom to make my background layer. And then let's add another solid color adjustment layer. I'm just going to select uh, one of my swatches here and then just clicking OK. And then you can go right click and click select create clipping mask and it will color our pattern here. With uh, this pattern fill layer, you can always double click here. If you want to uh, scale your pattern down, let's go ahead and make it smaller. Let's go at 50% here. 
When this dialog box is open, you always have the option to kind of reposition your pattern if you want it to be oriented differently. If you just want to get back to the original, just click on Snap to Origin here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on Create. So we have our uniform dot pattern here. Uh, let's jump back into our document here. So if you decide you want to test a different action out, you just click on this group, hit the delete button, and then you can select delete group and contents, turning that original back on so that you can do it again. So let's test out another action. So we did our one tone uniform. I'm going to scroll down and so now we have our two tone uniform. So let's test that one out and see what that does. I'm going to go ahead and hit play here. And as you notice, we have a change in opacity of our polka dots. And we have two uh, different um, opacities here. So let's, again, we see it in our patterns panel here. Let's test that out. So I'm going to select our newly created pattern. And now you see an automatic two tone of that blue so if we change our colors we make the background blue and then we make the top one white you'll get the opposite effect here if we turn off this white layer you'll see um, originally our pattern was made from black so you'll get more of a dark uh, color here turning back on our white there I really like this two tone effect. You can create a nice uh, pattern uh, just using a one pattern layer and then it automatically creates coordinating uh, tones of that color because we changed the opacity on our original pattern layer. Uh, let's go ahead and jump back into our other document here. We'll go ahead and delete this group, just selecting delete group and contents bringing up our original circle here. Uh, one suggestion I make when using these actions is that you convert your object into a smart object first. So to do that, you can go right click, convert to smart object. Smart objects are nice because you can always make adjustments uh, to it if you need to. So let's go ahead and test this circle out again using another action. So this time I'm gonna use the dot two-tone diagonal ascending. So I'm going to go ahead and push on play here. We have a polka dot style pattern where we have um, ascending stripes here. So jumping back over, let's test this out, see how it looks. Uh, just looking at it, I already know that I want to make my circle smaller. So I'm going to jump back in here. Uh, because I made it a smart object, I can double click on the smart object icon and I can make this circle smaller. So let's do um, Command T and then we are going to scale it. So to uh, scale it evenly, I'm going to select this button here and let's go ahead and make it 50% smaller. Clicking on OK here and then to get out of the smart object, just go make sure you save it first. Command or Control S and then we are going to exit Command or Control W and now we have our pattern here. Now we will need to define this new pattern. So let's just go to edit define pattern here and then we'll click on OK and we have our new pattern here in the patterns panel. We'll click back over and we'll select our new option and already we have a new pattern here. Using the smart object, it made it really easy to make a sizing adjustment so we can get the size of the pattern um, closer to what we wanted it to be. We'll jump back over here and then let's go ahead and delete this group. We'll bring up our original here. I'm going to jump back into my smart object. I'm going to go at command T and then I'm going to make it bigger uh, back to our original size. So we'll just scale it up 200% here and clicking on OK here. Uh, with this ellipse, I'm just going to go ahead and rasterize this. So right click rasterize layer. And then I'm going to create a guide. So I'm going to go view, add new guide. I'm just going to set it uh, horizontally at 50% here. Um, using my move tool, I'm going to make sure we're centered here on the canvas. And then M for marquee. I'm going to I just draw out a rectangle using that guide. And then I'm going to go right click, layer via cut here. And as you see in our layers panel, we have two um, halves of our circle here. 
view just to uh, clear our canvas guide here. And then with this first layer, I'm going to click this light lock icon. I'm going to select one of my swatches here, that blue color we were using before. And then I'm going to go option or option delete for Mac users, alt backspace for PC to fill in that color. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to select a light blue color here from my swatch panel. I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer, option delete or alt backspace to get a new um, color here. I'm going to go ahead and save this, command or control S and then exit out, command or control W and we have our new shape here. I'm going to rotate this one. So I'm going to go command T, I'm going to rotate this at 45 degrees here. And then I want to test out another one of my actions here. This and next I'm going to show you how to use button mode. So I'm going to click on this first action set here and then I'm just going to delete it now for the moment. And then we are going to click into this icon here, uh, selecting button mode, and we can see our actions here in our actions panel. Uh, button mode's nice because you can just click on the button and it will create it. So we have our object selected here. Let's go ahead and test out our um, vertical uh, change here. So if I click that, we have our action and we have our pattern. Let's go ahead and test it. And then for this one, let's change our colors. Let's bring white and then we'll just turn off this color layer. And as you can see, you have your original and then it's flipped vertically for the repeating there. And so it just makes a fun dynamic pattern there. And again, you can play with the scale of your pattern if you want it to be larger or smaller. We'll go back to 50% here. And then jumping back in here, deleting this group here, um, we'll bring up our ellipse here. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this one. I'm going to go right click. I'm going to do a new smart object via copy. And then we'll just turn off this original one here. I'm going to jump into uh, this new one here. Uh, with my layers accessing my move tool V on the keyboard, I'm going to uh, position this one to the top. We'll position this one to the bottom and then I'm going to uh, reduce the scale here a little bit. Command or control T. Um, let's go down to add 90%. Uh, let's do that for both of them, bringing it down to 90%. And then I'm going to position this one um, to the top there and then we'll position this one to the bottom. Let's play with some new colors here. I'm just going to select a pink color here and then option delete or alt backspace to change it up. And then let's select a, another pink here. We'll do it to this layer, option delete. And then I'm going to go ahead and save that. Command or control S, command or control W to close it out. And then with this new layer selected, let's go ahead and test uh, this action here, we have our dot one tone rotation four way, and then I'm just going to select it here. The action's going to do its thing, and then let's go ahead and test it here. And then I'm going to bring up this uh, scale here. Let's go 75%. And then I'm um, already looking at this pattern. I want to change my uh, spacing a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that here, clicking on this smart object. I'm going to convert these ones into a smart object as well. And then I'm going to reduce the scale here. So I'm going to go Command or Control T. And then let's just bring this down. Let's try 75%. It's probably going to be a little bit too low, small. So let's just go a little bit reduced. Let's do 90% there. Command or Control S to save. Command or Control W to exit, and then that gives us a little bit more space between our objects. And then if you make a change, you'll just need to redefine your pattern. So we'll go to Edit Define Pattern. Clicking on OK here, we have our new pattern. And then I will select it here, and you can just kind of get the different spacing there. If you find that you don't like your colors, you can always go back and change them in your smart object. Looking at this pink pattern, I wish I kept the blue. I liked the blue colors better. Uh, coming back into our layer here, uh, let's go ahead and delete this group. 
uh, selecting a new layer here I'm just gonna go add D to get my defaults and then uh, U just to bring up my circle here again and then I'm just going to uh, create a circle here and then let's test just one more pattern we have a scale pattern here so we'll click on it and then as you can see it's changed the scale of our repeat so we'll test it over here bringing up our patterns panel again and we have a change in scale here we can always change our color here maybe we'll bring a dark background there and you have a, a fun pattern here and then there's also the coordinating one we'll delete that here bring up our original where we can uh, scale it with the uh, two-tone testing our pattern to get the variation there and with this one I created uh, two styles here uh, version one version two so if we change our scale here what we notice is the larger one is the darker opacity and then if we switch it up in this case the larger one is the lighter op opacity and so depending on your object you might want one darker versus lighter so I created a, a kind of a different scale variation for that one so it could work with uh, your object Thank you for watching this video on how to create a fun polka dot style patterns using my actions. Uh, these actions are available for purchase in my Etsy shop and I will leave a link in the description below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my uh, tutorials on how to create uh, patterns in Photoshop. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.